Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. This is the third in a series of videos on the topic Encounter with the Jupiterians, channeled by Alice B. Claggett. This third in the series is entitled The Reproductive Organs of the Jupiterians. That's assuming that the Jupiterians are fungi that have also colonized Earth and uh, that and that mushrooms are the reproductive organs of the Jupiterians. And so it goes like this. Mushrooms are the reproductive organs of some types of Jupiterians, that, which is to say fungi. Like, like trees, mushrooms are located above ground. Like trees, they are open to the destructive influence of weather and to the predations of mammals, insects, and other earth animals. So, from a Jupiterian perspective, if indeed the Jupiterians are fungi, the reproductive organs uh, are highly susceptible to, to injury. And that must, I feel, greatly influence the culture of that planetary species. A fungus need not have only one set of reproductive organs, as is the case with mammals. It can grow new mushrooms on demand. From an evolutional standpoint, this makes a great deal of sense, given the vulnerability of most mushrooms and the edibility of many of them. From the standpoint of the Jupiterians, it seems likely that the vulnerability and replaceability of their reproductive organs might cause them to hold these organs in substantially lower regard than might a human hold his or hers. Makes sense, right? That more scornful point of view might be a protective feature for the psyche of Jupiterian society as a whole. By extension, it might also account for the Jupiterian scornful attitude towards trees, which seem to me to be far more sturdy and capable of survival after they reach maturity than the Jupiterian social memory complex would have them be. That the Jupiterian's mental image of a tree, which you may recall from a prior video in the series, rather resembles the silhouette of some types of mushroom, lends credence to this notion. So, just to recap, it could be that the Jupiterians see things without 3D perception in some way, maybe on the astral plane. Um, so they might see just a silhouette of a tree and they might see the silhouette of their reproductive organs, the mushrooms, and these two might look quite similar. So if they had not too much regard for their sexual organs because frequently they're eaten and then they can be replaced, then they might also have not too much regard for the tree, even though we humans really love trees in many instances. So that's a difference in our societies. This word social memory complex that I used here is featured in The Law of One, The Raw Material. That's a book that's available free to read on the internet. You can take a look at it. Social memory complex. It's kind of like the Weltang Shung, the, the uber view of a culture. And we humans, we're so full of ourselves, you know. We think we, we have a social memory complex. We have a well tongue we have cultures, and other beings don't have them, mostly. But that, I, from my own channeling, that's not true. Beings from many planets have many cultures vastly different from our own. And beings from our own planet that are not human and not mammalian have similar vast differences in their social memory complexes from 
that of the human beings. Well, that's all for this number three in the series. May you be safe and very happy in these difficult times. God bless you all. Until next we meet.